Hi everyone. I'm on a boat. I've been invited out by John and Kevin for the day and here we are about to go under London Bridge. Kevin is steering at the moment and he gets us under here perfectly. So the plan is to go to South Horsham Broad, do a lap of there, come back out past St Bennett's Abbey, then back onto the Ant, under Lutton Bridge again, cross Barton Broad, and we're going to stop at Paddy's Lane for lunch before turning round and going back to Ludden Bridge. So come along and have a look and see what we saw along the way. We've just reached St Bennett's Abbey and we're going to turn right here to go down to South Walsham Broad. My way at all. As we approach South Walsham, we see all this smoke billowing out. It all looked rather dramatic and of course you think the worst. But once we actually got up to it close, I think it was just garden rubbish being burnt. Look at that lovely boat. Now, this cormorant was having a super tussle with an eel. I thought at one point he was going to lose it, but he didn't. He kept hold of it and eventually managed to swallow it whole. Lots of cormorants. They've all got a post each. Looking across to Fairhaven Gardens now, that must be their tour boat. There are some beautiful properties that line the edge of South Walsham Broad. Really, really nice. Of course, when you're out on the water, not only do you see the properties, you get the chance to see the most beautiful boats that are on the river. So we've left South Walsham Broad. We're now back at St Bennett's Abbey. Just a couple of more minutes and we'll be going back onto Ludden Bridge. You'll see my footage is a bit wobbly here because I was convinced they were going to hit the side. Like there, they nearly did. But no, they were lucky. They got through, just like we're going to do.
So we're now making our way to How Hill. This is sweet little Millie, her first time on a boat ever, so she's still a bit unsure of herself. I like the look of that wild mooring in there, that would be my sort of place. So the house you can see was owned by the Boardman family. He was an architect in Norwich. Edward Boardman started building it in 1900 and it took three years to build. As well as the house, they also bought 800 acres of land to go with it. Initially, they just used the property as a holiday home, but by 1918, they'd moved in and made it their family home. Now we're passing Werry Hattall. This wherry actually belonged to the Boardman family, so it's good to see it finally back where it belongs. These are the Riverside properties at Ersted. Here we are, we're now on Barton Broad. Seems very busy on here, I wouldn't know which way to go. Now, I have no idea what's going on here. But if you know, perhaps you'd like to tell me in the comments below. I was so busy watching the sailing boat without any wind and the gentleman having to row, that I never filmed us mooring up at Paddy's Lane, which is where we are for lunch. So, as you can see, we've had lunch. We're now back on Barton Broad, and we're heading back to Ludden Bridge to drop me off. Remember I said it was busy earlier when we just got here. Well now you can see just how busy it actually is.
it's too shallow. That's the viewing platform that you get to when you follow the Barton Broad boardwalk. This is the boathouse for one of the ranger boats. Just going past all the lovely properties at Ersted again. This little boat is the electric keel boat trip which goes from Howe Hill and it takes you around on the original river before this wider section that we're presently on. If you want to see what I mean I suggest you take a little trip on this boat and you'll see exactly what I'm on about. It's fascinating. I spotted lots of yellow water lilies while out today, even some white ones in places. Of course, John, who I'm out on the boat with, he's already put his 
video out on YouTube. Some of you already know him. He calls himself Johnny Treehouse. I'll tag him in this video and I'll take you to his channel. While out on the water today, I saw lots of people I know, lots of boats I recognise. It was lovely to see you all. Thank you for saying hello. Sadly, we are coming up to London Bridge moorings and that's the end of today's trip. Although I do stay on for a little while once we've moored up and just watch the boats going under London Bridge and film those too. I've had a wonderful day. Thank you both so much for inviting me. Well, that's us safely moored up now. Thank you all for watching and I'll be back again very soon.